What's up everyone, my name is Shade, and we are back for my Astro series and we're diving into the lovely, lovely planet Uranus. Now we're still in the Aquarius season, so of course Uranus is the co-ruler of Aquarius, Saturn being the official ruler, Uranus being the modern day ruler. So when we think about Aquarius energy, we know that it's masculine, it's air, and it is fixed. So when you think about the co-planet that rules Aquarius, it's going to bring that similar energy. Uranus likes to bring progressive revolutionary change and it does this in drastic ways that force you to have to adapt and shift your mental paradigm in order to adapt to the change in your environment. Now Uranus is an outer moving planet and what that means is it takes a longer period of time for Uranus to switch different signs. So this energy affects the collective more so than affecting people on an individual level. It still affects you on an individual level, but because it stays in a sign for seven to eight years, it's truly, truly felt within the collective of the heaviness of that energy. Perfect example of Uranus um, bringing heavy energy. We have Uranus in the sign of Taurus right now. Uranus went into Taurus back in 2019. Quick review of Taurus energy. Taurus is about resources, pleasure, comfort, lifestyle, food, relationships. It's a Venus sign. When we had Uranus transition into Taurus, we had the startup of COVID and that was a significant change in the, our money system, the way we value money, the way we value relationships, connection, lifestyle. And it was a change that happened on such a collective level that we were forced to have to adapt. And what Uranus really does is it shifts the portal, shifts the paradigm in a sense. And when Uranus comes in and changes the energy of something, it's really here to shift you to a whole new paradigm, a whole new portal, a whole new way of thinking, of moving, and living in a new type of world. It's very, very awkward. And when you think about Aquarius energy, Aquarius energy is very eccentric out there and sometimes awkward in the sense of it's not normal. It's not something that you're used to. And that's the same exact energy that Uranus brings. It makes you uncomfortable because it's pushing you to change for a different lifestyle that can bring you more progression in your life or not even like a different lifestyle, but just a new way of thinking or a new way of being that's gonna help you to progress in life. Now, being that you know Aquarius is co-ruled by Saturn and Uranus, Saturn is that energy of conservatism, of tradition, of, of keeping a foundation. Uranus says the foundation is great, but we need to shift just a little bit so we can adapt to the future. Right? And that's what makes Uranus uncomfortable is because it's that energy of change, but it's change that truly shifts your mindset to a whole new world. So you really want to check to see where you have Uranus in your chart. I mean, if you have Uranus in your first house, I myself have Uranus transiting my first house right now since I'm a Taurus rising and Uranus is in the sign of Taurus. It's going to bring drastic change to the way you present yourself, the way you view yourself, and even like work as well. If you have it on those angular houses being 1, 4, 10, and 7. If you have Uranus maybe transiting your ninth house, right, it's going to bring a new way of thinking about philosophy, a new way of thinking about religion, creating your own religion. It's not uncommon for having Uranus in this uh, ninth house energy of people wanting to create their own life philosophy, their own type of religion, um, and studying things more in the eclectic or unseen world. Another example is if you have Uranus in the seventh house, this is going to definitely bring a person who views relationships and partnerships very differently, bringing a new flair to how you relate to things, people, and places in your life. So... That's what we have for Uranus energy. It is awkward, but it is progressive. It is revolutionary, and it is all for the betterment of the future in some way, shape, or form. Best advice I can give for planets like Uranus, Saturn, and Pluto. Those three planets are really challenging planets to work with. Do not resist. Do not resist the force and the energy of those three planets. Allow those planets to work in your life the way they're supposed to and truly, truly find different mental perspectives or, or ways of thinking to help you adapt to these shifts. 
All right, my name is Shade, and that's all we have for Uranus. Check back in as we get into the final sign in the zodiac, which is Pisces.